first talk about what went right in the first 80 minutes or so? Well, defended well. Um, you know, obviously, we were creating chances. We, we got back in the game through possession. We, we broke well. We were dangerous on the counter. Um, all those things were very positive. And then, and then what happened in those last... I'll have to watch the video, but obviously we, you know, let them back in the game. Great through ball for them. Got caught, um, you know, from, from a, a save down here. Um, slow in transition. Um, but again, I'll watch the video, but it looked like we didn't you know, recover quickly enough and, and deal with it. So it was, you know, pretty naive on our part. And fair play to them. I got it, you know, equalized. And here we are. Is, is, is it a fair assessment to say in the last you know, two games that this team hasn't handled offensive pressure from the opponent as well as you'd like them to? Uh, no. Uh, I, you know, conceding a, one goal against Madison, obviously. Uh, you know, the big picture is the five games in, in, what, 14 days? I mean, that's a ridiculous amount. Um, but we're, it, it had more to do with us not converting our chances again in this game. I mean, we could have, you know, Godoy has a great opportunity, great save. Roberto could ice it late. Uh, we just weren't uh, weren't clinical when we needed to be to, to ice the game. Just, is this a game you think you guys should have won? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, two goals and you know, in, in in the last you know bit um, where we should have done more to, to ice the game. Uh, and again, we could argue that we go to the corners with ten to play and we start to milk it, but. You know, we had clear chances on the break all night, and we didn't, especially in the first half as well, and we didn't convert um, some poor decisions and, and just, you know, so it comes back to bite you in the ass.